I want you to put your hands together for the crazy yet lovely Jade Nova. It's Nova. Oh, wait, was it? Jade no Nova, Nova, Jade Nova, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, why does she have an H at the end of her name? What's up everyone, it's your girl Nigel, and you're now tuned into Our Music Is Ours. Today, we are discovering who is Jade Nova. All I hear is raindrops falling from a rooftop. Ooh, baby, tell me why'd you have to go? Cause this pain I feel it won't go away. I first discovered Jade through her song Cosmic Love, which is an ethereal, youthful, energetic song about, you guessed. Or more of that artist's catalog. From there, I just always want to know more about them, and that leads us to this episode. Jade Nova is a singer, songwriter, and actress, born Lindsay Fields in Cleveland, Ohio. She chose the stage name Jade Nova because of the stone Jade, which represents femininity and positivity, and Nova because it's an exploding star. She grew up listening to everyone from The Beatles to Aretha Franklin to Brandy to Destiny's Child. She prides herself on being a B-stand since 97. She developed a strong passion for musical theater after attending her first Broadway show with her dad. Jade got her start in her late teens when she, by chance, met Missy Elliott, who would become a longtime industry champion of her. Jade sang background vocals for Missy's This Is Not A Test album. Jade credits Missy with teaching her individuality. Jade would then go on to sing backup for Lady Gaga, Eminem, and Rihanna. She toured twice with Ri. These experiences helped her develop vocal range because she had to adapt her voice to fit the varying needs of each artist. Not only did Jade work as a background vocalist, but she also wrote for artists like Christina Milian, Christina DeBarge, Dollhouse, Maya, and Melanie Fiona. With the latter, she created her biggest hit to date, Watch Me Work. Watch me work which landed many placements on shows like Project Runway and Scandal. In 2012, she released Shades of Jade, a mixtape comprised of mostly covers that she added her own sauce to, and two original songs. In this record, she showed how dynamic she is as a vocalist. She can sing any genre, sing anything, and make it sound good. It also showcased the genius of her now husband, Devin Johnson, a musical director, producer, and pianist who produced the record. He added such thoughtful touches to the songs that she covered. While Jade is talented and skilled at both singing and writing, singing background was her bread and butter. So when The Four, a singing competition show which featured P. Diddy, DJ Khaled, and Megan Trainor was looking for background singers, they reached out to her. However, Jade at this point was committed to making her career as a solo vocalist work, so she declined, and they instead offered her a chance to be a vocal coach, which she gladly accepted. And while all of the aforementioned was going on, she was releasing parodies and covers on YouTube. Listen, how to build and trust from a distance. I think we should rule out commitment for now, cause we're falling apart, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't 
stand in line I don't pay for clubs, fuck that To drink, I don't like to think. Fuck that. Oh, oh, I'm on the way. We ain't got no time to waste. Popping my gum on the way. Am I in the way? I don't want brushing and none. I want your blessing today. Oh, by the way, open the door. By the way, touch you that I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I know connection is bad. Pick up the phone for me, baby. Jump in the Cadillac, boy. Let's put some miles on it. Anything you want. What I like, that's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Whoa, I'm caught in a bad romance. Whoa, I'm caught in a bad romance. She is most known for her dead on impersonation of Beyonce. I just love Christmas time. And one of my favorite things about the holidays is the Christmas music. <laughs> she has over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and has amassed more than 50 million views. She's also partnered with fellow famous YouTuber Todrick Hall. Yeah, you've been on my mind, so can you tell me half my been on yours just in case you wanna She's received praise from many of the artists that she's impersonated, including Michelle Williams and Erica Badu. On July 13, 2018, Jade independently released her debut album, All Blue, produced by her husband, Devin, which featured Cosmic Love. Time after time, Jade has proven her versatility, and with her debut, it was no different. She talked about a wide range of subjects, including ageism in the industry and how there's a lot of pressure put on her because of the fact that she's in her 30s and a mom and a wife. And overall, Jade describes the album as being about elevation, taking everything to the next level, love, how, you, how she treats people. She attempted to show the beauty of the color blue with her debut. She felt that many people associate the color with mellowness and sadness, but she was showing that blue represents life and vitality. The album opened up the opportunity for Jade to support Tiana Taylor on tour, perform at the Essence Festival, and go on her own solo tour, which almost half of the dates were sold out. She balanced touring with working as a radio DJ on Atlanta's premier urban radio station V103. She also received an NAACP nomination for Outstanding New Artist. Jade is a wonderful, dynamic artist with a vocal clarity and tone that is unmatched. When giving props to Jade, we have to give Devin Johnson, her husband, a standing ovation too because he wears every hat. Which hat? All of them. He drove the Sprinter van, he put the band together, he handles the music direction for the shows, he produces the projects, and he plays the keys. It's safe to say that Jade has earned our stamp of approval, and what I love about artists like Jade is that she's a part of the new school by virtue of the time she debuted, but age-wise and skill-wise, she's a part of the old school because she's bringing those vocals, vocal arrangements, writing, and showmanship that those seasoned artists that we're more familiar with have. I hope this inspires you to check Jade's music out. In fact, she has a new single called Somebody's Sun Out and it's pure fire. It has a West Coast feel to it. She will be going on her stages tour this spring, so you should go check her out. This is Jade Nova. Let me know down below how you feel about her. Yeah. Being in love ain't free, it's a life 
Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.